Hello everyone, today I will be teaching you how to install code value program on your Windows uh, uh, PC. Uh, just let you know, unfortunately there's no any version that you can actually use it on Mac. So if you're a Mac user, you either wanted to uh, install Windows on your Mac or you actually need a, a PC that has actual Windows on it. So the first thing you need to do is you need to copy paste this uh, link and then you're gonna open this your browser and then just paste uh, this link. Then you're gonna go to downloads and then you're gonna go all the way down to this special edition code barrier for HCS 12 and then you're gonna hit click on it and then you're gonna save it so it's gonna take a while and then you're gonna wait until it's downloaded it's not the big file so it's gonna wait it's almost done there you go then you go to your download folder and then you're gonna click on this uh, program It might get slow for whatever reason, so you just gonna wait wait more and wait more. Then it's gonna ask you if you wanna uh, allow it. Hit yes, and then you hit next for the first one. You're gonna accept the terms and uh, hit next. Then it's gonna ask you where do you wanna save your file. Uh, I recommend to just save it in this location so you know where it is and it's actually working better for you. Uh, then hit next and then install. Then you're going to wait until it gets done. It's probably going to take over like one minute maximum so that be all for that part. While that's working, you can go ahead and to the second link, and I'm telling, giving it to you, and copy paste it to your browser as well. Then search it. Then uh, apparently some files are missing for uh, this version of the code, the, the program, and then you're gonna go to this link and you go all the way down. And if you want to know what is missing, it's these files. So you're going to go back here and it says CW 5.2 missing pieces. And then you're going to download that as well. So you be a little productive. And this is still working. So we're going to wait. And there you go. So this is here, and it's almost done. Just gonna wait for it. Don't hit this page anymore. Oh, there is something here. So we're gonna I agree, and then uh, you're gonna install that as well. And since it says completed, you can actually close it, and then your program is actually installed. If you want to where is the actual program, you can hit this part and then type IDE and you, send, you can see the code barrier IDE here. But since you can't actually uh, work on it right now, since that there are some missing, so I recommend go back to your uh, download folder and then uh, extract this second file we downloaded and depending where you want to save it and I just select to be at this point and then you're going to go here and uh, so when you download the files you're going to end up with these three files after you extract them so simply just gonna select all and then just copy all together. Then you're gonna back go to your star 
and then type IDE, which is going to be your code right here. You're going to uh, double click on it and you're going to go to open file locations. Just to let you know, this is not the actual location of your program. So then you're going to click right on it again and you go to open file location. Then you're going to see all the codes and all the uh, related uh, things here. But uh, what you want to do, you're going to go back up here and click this folder, which is the whole thing here. And you said you have bin, prog, and the other uh, lib uh, file. And then simply going to just paste these files here. And then you're going to wait until 182 megabytes. It's transferred to this location. For some reason, my laptop is really slow right now. Since you see there are a couple files that are still here, you just kind of replace these files. And then you just going to save for all of them and then continue. And then it's going to be pretty fast at this point. And now you see and you have the file. Uh, to be able to make a short card on your desktop, you're just going to go to pin folder and you find this IDE file. Click right on it and send to uh, desktop. Now you have a desktop short card for it. Now you can close all these and then uh, click on it. So now you have the program and you can do whatever you want with the program. Thanks for listening and watching my video. If you like, you can uh, subscribe and follow my page for more information about uh, free scale code that I will be posting in future.